And we have again and faculty spawning on the left side as the blue team here on uh, Cursed Hollow. And they have green out on the Tassadar, they have Halo on the Tychus, they have Venom on the Shen, who's the replacement here um, for their team captain. Uh, we have Nafil on Rhaegar, and did I miss anyone? Uh, nope, that uh, is everyone. Zahn on the Nubarak. Oh, yeah, my bad. And on the right hand side in the red trunks we have fast forward with the Malfurion, the Ufa, the Nova, the, the Rainer, and I didn't miss anyone. We have the Tyrael, who I thought was in bot lane and was wondering why he wasn't there. Turns out, Jella just DC'd and is now reseeing and just got off her horse and is now walking to lane. Oh, that's gonna take and a little bit she's mounted. There we go. <laughs> um, looks like they were cuddling there for a little bit. A little bit. Nova, Nova and Tychus. Well, Nova's not going anywhere too early. She may look for someone bushwhacking, but not too bad. So, Kaya's going to go for a wander. And they're not losing out also on any XP because the minions have not got there yet. And Tyrael getting into lane in perfect time for those minions to spawn. The top lane, however, Marco Wynn and Von Gola both looking for a possible snipe on Noah Field here. Oh, there comes the stun! And my favorite oh, comes out of the bar. Oh, missing that hook. Um. Venom and Zon! Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun oh. dun dun. Knock up misses. Here's my Fury in. But Sebkaya gets out. He was the target. And they will let that go. So they're just going to clear. They're just going to put some pressure on top play and try and force Marco Win to back up a bit. And then they will look for another snipe. And Sebkaya, once again, almost getting caught there, but is able to dodge out. Venom and Zon. Once again, going to continue their own. But this is the two-man gank squad we were talking about earlier. Replacing Arthas with Chen in this case. It's going to be nice, especially at level 7 when Chen gets his root. Yeah. And um, they did have a little bit of split focus there when they tried to um, try to capture, uh, but tried to uh, gank uh, Nova. Well, maybe it works out later on. Sepke has just been playing super risky. Like he's been, he's been almost caught out by the two warriors twice now. He's just gonna go back and take the watchtower again. In the meantime, though, Rain has been hovering around here, so here. But Green out throws down an oracle, catches the vision of it. But we're seeing Sepke actually landing a few shots onto Venom here. Venom does get stunned. Nice stun, and this get time it really kick. sits and body blocking Venom, but he jumps over. Oh, beautiful. Sai here I even came up here, and that's a lot of XP lost, considering that they don't actually get the kill in the end, and Sebkaya just leaving his hologram behind. But that's a lot of XP lost, considering they didn't get the kill. As long as Noah Field doesn't die here to this four-man gank, then they oh, should be good. Where's the Dukes? There's the stun. The Root misses. The dodges. Oh, Skates a couple tower come. hits. It's dropping so low. Oh, uh, it's Rhaegar, but... He escapes. Wow. <laughs> and that's still... I mean that's a huge advantage for NFAC, although they do lose a bit of XP in this top lane now. But they are in such great position. They're going to get that easy camp, and then they're going to be able to rotate down to that tribute while there's still two members of... Uh, there's still two members of Fast Forward in that top lane. No feel! Oh, this time he goes down! He's wow! He's boned. There's the first blood, and that looks like NFAC will now leave that tribute. Nope, they're still going for it! Wow, a new moves in there. Uh, Tassadar also putting in some damage here on the tribute just to disrupt that. Oh, oh Tychus is completely out of position fight. down there. <laughs> yep, here comes Ufa. Venom is also dropping quite low. Throws down his, throws down his drink, but he's not able to get it. And fast forward, get the kill. The f healing totem was not enough to keep Chen alive. And fast forward, two kills to zero right now, and they're going to take the first tribute. Yeah, that was easy going once uh, two heroes were down. Um, they could have just grabbed the tribute and. Um, yeah, they just took their time with it. I like that. I like the play. Yeah, they took the time. They really separated out Tychus, who was the main damage dealer on the side of N Faculty. Really put them in a tough position. And these two Siege Giants in the top lane also haven't actually got too much damage done. And now that Marco Wynn and his minion wave are here, he's going to be able to deal with them quite easily. He does take a bit of damage, though, from one of the Siege Giants. But he will clear it before too much damage is done. We can see now... In fact, beginning to take their hard camp just to get a bit of counter pressure in time for when the next tribute spawns. Yep, uh, they can do that easily um, just with three heroes on top of everyone and just grabbing that, no problems whatsoever. Fast forward on the other hand, grabbed the easy camp, which is going to go down bot lane. And yeah, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a brawl in the middle lane. Yeah, I would like to point out how cool it is that we can see that Chen has not even touched a minion this game. Jella, though, being dropped low. The knock-up misses. Oh, getting the body block. Jella does get kicked off there. Sebkaya comes in, tries to get a hit. 
But up till just now, Venom hadn't even touched a minion. He had zero siege damage. That was just wow. kind of cool. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. And uh, Anub is just such a good body blocker. And now they're in a position where they can just easily grab the tribute. Um, also going up to one tribute. So one wants the standing right now. And uh, still a bit of a mobile, mobile hit squad down here. Yep. The Hollow attempting to clear up this minion wave so we'll have an easier job with that Siege Giant, but Chen has the root now going on to Sepkia. Oh, nice and storm on top of everything, and good body block here by Chen. Yeah, the shields and the heals are huge from end faculty. No way either of them are going to go down to the counter attack from Gela and uh, Vonga there, but incredible gank. Yep, uh, indeed it is. And whoa, look at the experience, uh, experience levels of both of these teams, almost dead even here. So, in fact, definitely catching up now, and um, yeah, yeah, they're pretty much still that even, and that's almost at level 10. This is going to be fun. This next tribute is coming in, and uh, fast forward's almost in position, and faculty yeah. not really moving yet. I like what Gela's doing here, throwing down Elduin's might to slow down Hollow, keep Hollow out the fight for as long as possible, just keep him back. However, their main damage, Saiheya, is also not there. For the fight in time and the reason uh fast forward is doing this is because they already threw a clairvoyance down onto the golem and found out that there was no one there so they're just leaving it alone for now however fast forward now beginning to take the tribute and they need to be prevented nice knock up there from oh. zon there's the odin now we're gonna see the fight oh there comes oh nice cc grabbing chen and what <laughs> looks chen like they disappeared and did they did they not take bloodlust Oh. Uh, they didn't, they took Ancestral Healing instead, and now wow. we're seeing Infact back out here, and they're dropping really low. Oh, Tessa I might get away, yes he will. Oh no! Uh, no, no, no falling. Wow, yeah, that was close. Happened. And still denied, I really think this cult would have worked better with Bloodlust, but it managed to keep one of his team alive, and that does mean that all five members are alive of uh, Infact, but that still means they've given up another tribute, and now the tribute count is two to one in favor of fast forward, but in faculty, slightly ahead in levels, they have just got a tiny sliver of XP advantage. Yeah, they're gonna go for their uh, for their boss now, and um, I think that's actually a good choice, considering they uh, had to forfeit the tribute. So, uh, going for the boss gives them the time to um, kind of disrupt their opponent, and then go for the next tribute, which the next one is crucial, they need to get one, that one. Yeah, I would agree. There's the clairvoyance. So, uh, so fast forward, do 100% know that this is happening, and that is a very convenient wow. tribute placement for Exactly. Enfact. Fast forward, do know that this is going on, thanks to that clairvoyance, seeing the entirety of N Faculty there, except for Rhaegar, they're pretty sure that this is happening, now we're seeing Nova finally heading down there to help out, and we're gonna see a bit of a dance around this tribute area, Hollow trying to go, but Elduin's might will deny that. Not the best position right now for a faculty, uh, kind of weirded out by um, by the positioning. Rhaegar is now moving in, so they should be gearing up to take this. Uh... Well, the longer they delay this, even the, the longer that uh, fast forward are here, the more damage that golem's going to do. And that is what n are doing here, but Chen has gone in, needs to start brewing to get some help. Needs to oh, oh, he's oh, going to be taken! Oh, wow, Ancestral he's Healing coming in fire. just in time there. And Chen there's his ultimate. Earthstorm fire. He's going to chase down some of the members of Fast Forward. And in the meantime, the Odin and the Archon in the back just doing immense damage. Marco win. Just able to escape. But that was a great fight there from Enfactory. Looked a little messy, but it did the work. And they get the tribute and the kill. Very nice work. Yeah, and they're back just in time to stop the hard camp from attacking the middle lane. The counter kill. Oh, who did they grab? They Chen. got Chen. Uh, Sep KR just waited for, him for his ultimate to finish and then popped him instantly. Oh. This is why this is why when you use channel, but you get out before it pops. Nova, going on to Noah Field, but Noah Field, popping his passive, gonna be able to back out. Feeling pretty safe right now. Meantime in the bottom lane, Tychus is actually chasing Sai here. Completely misses his grenade. But he's gonna be able to clear this wave pretty easily. Yeah, and now it's fast forward going for their boss here uh, in the top lane. Uh, not spotted yet by N Faculty, so they should have no problems granting that. Oh, but they're gonna miss their tribute, and this is the third and final tribute here. And I don't think N Faculty is gonna have any problems grabbing that. Yeah, they're not gonna have any trouble getting that at all. They're even feeling confident enough to take their hard camp at the same time before they even try to take it. 
There we go, it goes down. Taz starts using Oracle, realizes there is no threat, and then faculty gonna get this tribute and they will get a curse from it, but they're gonna have to spend a fair amount of this curse time dealing with this golem in top lane, and we can see four members minimum of end faculty heading up to deal with this. Looks like Tastar is coming up as well. So this is gonna spend a huge amount of their curse time. Yep, um, preoccupied with this, and the knights can be stopped by fast forward. So, uh, nice way the timing worked out in that, grabbing the, just uh, completely forget about the tribute, grabbing grabbing the boss instead, knowing that the push is not gonna be as strong if they, if they do have that. Oh, but I think the bottom fort will fall. No matter what, I mean, it's only got a couple of HP it's left got a there. Sliver mouth is there to try and defend it. He's covering. It. He's actually healing minions yeah. to try and keep his wave alive as long as possible. It's actually working. He's wow. able. Wow, he's even rooting away. everyone down there. Yeah, it might cool. actually work out in the end. Twenty seconds left, and he stopped the entire wave. Although this does mean that. Uh... In fact, he can just walk down there and kill it. And in fact, turning that golem around, they were able to get at least one fort during this. They still have 10 seconds left on this. They could attempt to rotate mid. That's what they're going to do. They have five seconds left. They're just going to probably take both of these towers. And then maybe it looks like they're actually going to dive this fort once they have a minion wave with it. Uh, no, they're going to play it safe. They're going to back up. Maybe go for their easy, maybe just clear bot wave and try and snipe that fort down. Yeah, I mean, that fort is just so incredibly low. I definitely think that they're going to go for it eventually. Uh, maybe even right now. Yep, there's the deep dive. Just two hits and that's that gone. Fort, yeah, that fort was the Peter Andre's career of forts. It was bound <laughs> to fail at some point or another. And uh, fast forward, just uh, moving down the middle lane, uh, only Rainer going for it, uh, towards top, clearing that out. A li um, little bit dangerous here, I feel, um, just singling that one out, because they don't have a good map vision to actually feel safe doing that. Yeah, it is interesting, but at the moment, in faculty do just have a huge lead. Even though the kills are even two forts, is a huge advantage unless fast forward can win a big fight which may actually happen here if uh in faculty wants to play as risky as to try and fight fast forward at their own hard camp which is exactly what they're gonna do then uh nova's not here though so this is the best time they could do it and they are gonna get it the hard camp in their favor wow, that, that was so quick uh Turiel actually thought about going in there uh, yeah, he threw he, a sword That's yeah about he threw it. a sword in there but not the entire team there, not a good idea. But they can stop the camp easily. Uh, this does give a nice bit of a timing advantage here to and faculty oh, who can no, just step, easily yeah. grab their, their boss. But, ooh, Nova's in trouble. Yep, she had to back out due to getting side stormed. I would have actually liked to see Tastar maybe back out a bit when he oracled, wait for his team to see if they could catch Nova out with a kill. But now. Oh, nice engage here by Turo. And there comes the Odin, good stacking up, but everyone moves out of position. Oh, just completely missing the Divine Storm there. Not a good engage here by Uther. And Tyrael goes down so quickly. Mafurin also in trouble. And there comes the final blow. Yep, Chen was in the back of this this entire time, just harassing Nova and doing as much as possible. Currently blocking Saiha, but his passive is, his ultimate is now finished and he will get killed off by Nova not using his ultimate to get Ooh. away. Noah feels now being dropped low and he does get killed off as well. And Amazing turnaround here for fast forward. For. Yeah, exactly, exactly what they were looking for. And now they can just easily grab this tribute and um, just push down the bottom lane. Um, well, they could easily split push if they want to. I mean, only 10 second timer. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be a curse for them, which is great. In the meantime, though, there are two siege giants in the top lane doing a bit of damage, but once the curse hits, the minion wave of fast forward will clear that. And it looks like Tyrael is actually going to go and clear them himself. Yeah, bottom forward is for sure going to fall. Let's see what Nova's doing here in the middle. Maybe she's even uh, trying to push this down. Uh, looks like they might get two forts with this, uh, with this curse. Really good job here. Fast forward, catching up. Oh, actually getting ahead. Oh, Zon, that's risky. Zon has no health, and he went in against a Nova. That was a, a dubious strategy, to say the least. But he is going to get out alive. But barely. If a sniper turned around and hit him there, he would have gone down. All buildings in the bot lane for end faculty have pretty much gone. And down goes the middle lane fort as well. That evens up the fort count. And they're in big trouble now, because ooh, fast forward might actually steal the boss, or at least steal one of the camps here. Good clairvoyance. Oh, that's a far sight actually, because it's on a Rhaegar. But yeah, good, good clairvoyance there. They're able to see exactly where fast forward are, and end faculty 
going to attempt to take their heart here. Fastball could move in to contest it, but I don't think they want to. Well, that's pretty with risky. The advantage, it's a bit risky. Yeah. Uh, kind of undecided. I think they try. They want to try to set something up here. And fact, Shen might be moving into the trap. They know fast forward to hit, and now fast forward know exactly where in fact they are thanks to that clairvoyance. It was a very nice oracle and a tacitar to find out where fast forward are. And it well, Raiders are pop. They try to focus Shen, uh, but Shen. he he yeah. will get away. I mean, there's no way they can get him right here. Because Banshee is going to be incredibly annoying though. They will get killed off, but uh, Anubrak also going to be able to borrow out and also annoy uh, Malfury in a bit. There's the fight. There's the far mm. side and here comes Rhaegar coming in. Spots. Wow. Nice storm. Yeah, nice storm. Odin is in the back doing the damage. The 10 ult was popped instantly this time rather than when he was low on health. So once he gets out of this, he's still going to be fine. Odin yeah. is now up. Sebkaya is still in the back doing all the damage, but Hollow is totally wiping Jella here. Sebkaya is now going on to Hollow and Ufa will go down. Yeah. They need to try and take out some of the damage here. And Chen still has a lot of his health left now that he is out of that ultimate zone being dropped low. Nice route, but it's not enough. The save Jay. Can he kill Sebkaya? Nope, he's just gonna back nope. out and try With the help of Rufer, I think uh, they're good to deal with this. Uh, can Shen get away? It looks like he might be able to. Uh, there's minions here he can kick too if he really needs to. He's being dropped low though, he needs to keep up his Oh, nice stuff! And, and he gets picked. Final blow here by Nova. Good job! I was actually kind of surprised that they uh, switched targets to Uther uh, in the middle of the fight. Yeah, she's the more priority target. She killed almost everyone in that fight. Like, we can have a look quickly at uh, Nova's stats here. Nova is currently 12 and 1. Which means that her gathering power stacks, which she did take at level 2, are going to be huge right now. She is basically as strong as she could be. The only way she could be stronger is if instead of crippling shots taken at level 16, she'd take an overdrive. That's the only way she could be doing more damage right now. Yep, yeah, and there's the engage on the boss. Uh, yeah, both teams are actually taking their boss right now. I think uh, Fast Forward has a little bit of an edge here. Uh, they already have three heroes yeah. in position. Yeah. Well, uh, then again... Tychus is Tychus, apparently, and it looks like it's going to be pretty even when they kill this thing. Both <laughs> teams, uh, we're going to see the the uh, far, the clairvoyance out of fast forward. So oh, out of, of both teams. Things. But a well, little bit of, pretty much of a history. nice... Oh, sorry. Uh, they have a little bit of a nicer timing here on the hard cam, because uh, that's coming up right away, and they're going to grab it easily, but going to miss the first tribute of the second wave here. Yep, neither team now has any tributes, both teams have used their curses. But there is a level 20 advantage right now for Fast Forward. Looks like they are going to ignore the tribute, both teams' golems are pushing. Zon has headed to the top lane, they're going to lose that fort, which will put the fort count once again to even. And the golem in the bot lane is going to be basically dealt with by the majority of Fast Forward. Nova is out on the hunt, trying to find some players of end faculty to pick off it and Tychus in the mid lane might be the perfect candidate oh he, he might be in trouble he's just dealing with the knights and there comes the snipe oh nice ah, precision strike without the cc it's just not strong enough yeah very well reacted there by hollow able to protect himself and he pops his first aid just so he'll have it as soon as possible again in the final and doesn't need to go back and get a fountain yep is that just gonna go grab the easy cam grab a little bit of health once that's gone this is a very, very even fight. This is such this is such a good game. Like I the substitute for N Faculty is actually playing really well, but at the moment, the kills are in favor of fast forward. They've been playing super well this entire game, getting back the disadvantage the slightest advantage they had against N Faculty earlier, and really pushing the game into their favor. The, although N Faculty once again bringing it back from the deficit they had now. And to actually pretty even in the XP again, but it looks like we may see another fight here. Green now. There comes the Tassada, and ooh, this time nice, nice hit on the precision strike. And the storm comes in as well, also grabbing two players up here. Ooh, good rooting. Like this got but gets away. Kind of screwed. Oh yeah. Oh, and now everyone's just bumped up there. Venom might go down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the trying to, drink. to keep him alive, but he does pop. He has resurgence, so he will be up very very soon and the rest of end faculty back out anubrak also went down he also had resurgence so the entire team will be up for this tribute fight but they weren't able to get anyone there yeah just a terrible position uh i think tassada popping his ulti might have been uh the decision point for him to or for the entire team to grab that fight and that was a really bad position for them 
Yeah, but unfortunately, though, they now don't have as many ults as they would like. In fact, neither team almost has any ults. Yeah, it's just going to be low-level fighting right here. Yeah, we're going to be hitting each other with sticks. There's the Divine Hurricane. Hits absolutely everyone. And down goes Chen again. Oh, and the noob is pretty low as well. There comes the deep dive. He gets away for now. But, oh, another another sword is popped. I think he can get the final blow. Oh, oh. Sword Yes, he will. Nice heal. Oh, good heal. Extremely good heal. And Tassada also pretty low, but there uh, goes him down. Both of them go down. Tassada and the noob falling. And wow, and uh, fast forward just putting all the pressure here on the bottom lane. Yeah, I think they're just going to waltz through to take this keep. I think they might. We have another resurgence on a green out here. That's three sets of resurgence for team and faculty here, but it's just not enough. It, how it doesn't matter how many times you revive, if your opposing team just keeps killing you over and over again. And that's what's happening right now. End faculty really, really struggling here. And fast forward, just pushing all the way at this point. They have some siege golems here. And they're going to go. There's the shield from T from Tyrael. And they are just going in on this core. Tire Star has altered. He's going in. Oh, on this amazing storm. There's the silence as well. Oh, good combination here. Next is already down to 40%. I think they can just finish it off right here. Yeah, that is GG. And it's going to be fast forward that moves on to the finals and completely ruins my spree of correct guesses. <laughs> well, we said it was going to be a close game. So, uh, indeed it was. An, an amazing game at that. Yep, an amazing game. Very back and forth from start to finish. Both teams getting a bit behind, then getting a bit ahead again, then getting a bit behind again. And in this case, though, fast forward, is the team that came out and we just didn't see end faculty bringing it home we saw a lot possibly a couple unnecessary deaths on a couple people but it's not it's not a huge deal both teams played incredibly well however 